Hello everyone, and I am recording this literally right after uh, recording the video I did on Zombie Attack, because Trick or Treat in Hollisville 2 literally just opened, which is, I mean, like, what are the odds of that timing? But yeah, I figured I'd hop on on here ASAP to make amends with this tradition that was cut last year, but I am back. And I miss this, I really do. This is a fucking classic, at least the original was, but I don't think it's open. Uh, and I doubt it's going to be open again after 2020, but anyway, we are here. And uh, yeah, so, you know, if you haven't played this game, then what the fuck are you doing? I will link in the description so you can play it. It's a classic. Um, yes, it's not the original, but this is improved over the uh, original. And I miss this music. Again, uh, I will say I played Trick or Treat in Hollows with the original one. Every single Halloween, every single October, every time it would come out, I would always play it. Always. I would just go around, you know, collecting the candy and stuff. In case you can see, it's essentially allowed me to keep doing trick or treating stuff in adulthood. But that's definitely the case now. Just because I can't do it in real life doesn't mean I can't do it in a video game. But, uh, yeah, it looks like, given this, it looks like they haven't gotten the vehicles to this new one yet. But, yeah, it looks like I'm still doing some quests as well. Like, I did a lot of them in 2020, but there's still three that I'm still doing. And I don't know if I'll be able to finish them anytime soon. I'm sure at some point I will. But, either way, let's get going. I don't have a lot, I don't have a lot of candy, but it looks like I did buy this to match myself. Match my outfit, which is pretty nice. And you can actually sprint in this one, which is something you can't do in the old one. OG, I should say. Also, if I recall correctly, I'm pretty sure there are a lot more monsters, or at least the odds to get monsters are higher in this one. That's that one. Hello there. Yes, it is. And also, in the original one, the candy would get thrown down on the ground, and you'd have to walk over with your mouse and click to get it before they disappeared. Whereas with this one, it just goes straight to your inventory. Which I must say is very nice. Now, other people could not steal your candy, the original, I must add that, they could not. Even if they tried to, they couldn't. But, either way, let's go walk around here and, like I said, make amends with this, um, tradition, which was cut short last year, which is a fucking crime. Hello, who are these characters based off of? I got a couple pieces there, pretty nice. Yeah, let's go around. Let's keep going around. I mean, I mean, I mean, besides, I mean, there are side quests to this, because I've pretty much done all of them already. Um, but there are side quests you can find, so it's not just a trick or treating, even though that is the main purpose of it. Like uh, here, I like have to find those things. They're basically all fine quests, essentially, mostly except for like some of them aren't. But, uh, yeah, so it's not just the trigger tree one, but that is, but that is, that is the main thing, uh, in the game, though. Which, obviously, of course, it's in the name, so it makes sense. But, yeah, so I'm glad that, um, this is still here. Yes, it's the new version, but still, at least, it's still opening every October. It's a cr it would be, whoops, it would be a crime if it didn't. It was a crime of me to not play it last year, but, you know, stuff happened last year. That's how you get the stamina back. You, you lose it just by walking, but like I said, this way you can actually run. Hello, Mr. Pumpkin. And so, yeah, again, this is being recorded the same day as the video I did earlier, and I mentioned this game earlier in that video as well. Alright, thank you very much. Yeah, I swear, I remember in 2020, I swear, I was getting, like, so many more monsters than before. It would be cool if I could finish one of these last quests, though, but I doubt that will happen. But to find one of the monsters, looks like a witch, I think, is the great island of the bird to find a ghost owl, looks like. I know those are probably guys already, so I might just do that off camera. Like I said, I'm mainly here to amend a broken tradition. Because it really was a tradition to play this every year. Um, um, before of till 2021, it really was a tradition. It since it became tradition, to just it was just something I just did every year. So yeah, like I said, it became tra tra tradition. So gotta gotta keep it going. Gotta bring it back. Gotta keep it going. So I really do like that. I really did miss this. I really did. 
I really do, honestly. Good times. Oh, this is a monster. It goes. I'm just gonna take away quite a lot. Took a lot. All right. Let's fight. Yeah, that's an old Roblox sound. With uh, with that goes. That's an old Roblox sound. Let's see. Oh, the another one. Hey, dude. Yeah, I, mean, I definitely remember the odds of you getting monsters are, I think they're a lot higher here, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that they, it is. At least it feels like compared to the original, those two in a row, that, that did not happen a lot in the original, so I think this one might be harder, I'm not sure. I do remember that it was a bit of an annoyance in 2020, though, with this, is that there was so many, I get monsters so many more than normal people. Or at least I got them so frequently. And actually, I think the problem isn't that I get the monsters are frequent, that they take so much more. Also, he's trying to wait, but it doesn't really look like it. It's a bit bugged. Well, whatever. So I'm glad the developer of this game made a new version of the original. Instead of ever replacing it, just put it on a new game file or whatever. No trick for me, have some candy yet. Thank you very much. And besides, as an adult now. You can just go buy candy and have it yourself instead of, yeah, sure, it's not free, but you still got the candy. <laughs> it's, it's still candy at the end of the day, isn't it? I'm gonna go to this house before someone, before someone steals it, rushes to it. Zombie! Brains, yeah. Nom, nom, nom. Nom, eat this to get some stamina back. No, it's so much easier than walking around. Lazy fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's pretty harsh. But I think those those are supposed to be kids in costumes. Oh, hello, Mr. Kill. Starting to take more candy. F yeah, holy fuck! That took seven pieces away. Yeah, I think that's definitely an issue that needs to be nerfed. They need to take away less. I, I remember in the original they did take away some candy, but I don't. I swear it wasn't like they didn't take away this much. Jeez, I'm about to be out already. Yes, yeah, so it is a beautiful night to go trick or treating because there's no weather here. It's, uh, I know there will be uh, kids obviously in the neighborhood going trick or treating out, assuming it's not raining. Because that's always a factor that can have a good rain. Ghost Hunters Inc. Oh, wow, yeah, it's even a light, light, uh, light pole that fell down. Yeah, I like this music. I don't know what it's called. I don't know if it's copyrighted or not. I hope to see, but it's, it's great. I'm glad it's still here. This whole game is just a classic. Again, I, I know it's not the original, but it's the original in a modern light. It still has this, at least for me, it still has the same charm as the original, but it's more modern. It's modern now. It's not old. And I'm going to say the crew did a great job on updating. Oh, hi. Well, now I have none left. So actually, the next time I counter a monster, they can't do shit. They literally can't do shit. Because I'll be completely out of candy now, so they can't steal anything the next time I get one. As of right now. Let me see. Is there a bird or a witch somewhere I can see? Where would you even find a witch out here? I have no idea. Hey, this one on the quest is, is the way to find the spider eggs. So that's just part of the grass there, I think. I don't think there's anything special there. Yeah. Yeah, uh, my sand is running out, though, because I don't have any candy left. Because, yeah, the monsters take so much more. I, th I think it's either you nerf how much candy the monsters take away, or you make these people give out more. Because I, I definitely think there's a balance issue. Well, that's just me, though. But I do think there's a balance issue. A bit of a balance issue. Here. So let's keep looking around. I can just wait for these lights to go out. They will go out eventually. I see it's some text in there. Yeah, that was a smart decision to just wait. Yeah, I do remember doing this as a kid. Obviously, uh, yeah, you can't take shit from me, bruh. No brains. Yeah, that's right. You can't take shit from me, so just get out, get lost. Yep, that's right, I don't got nothing for you. <laughs> Sucker. 
Yeah, hell, there's a brain there. Yeah, that's one of the quests. I wonder where I could find the aloe bird, I'm sure it's somewhere on the map. Although, I'm amazed because this version only came out in 2020, I swear it did not exist before 2020. I swear it didn't. I'll have to check the creation date. But I'm pretty sure this version only existed starting in 2020. It's like two years old, I'm pretty sure. It had to have been 2020. If not the 2019, but it had to have been 2020. Unless someone can confirm that for me, or I can just check the creation date. But still, I swear that this is still br essentially brand new, or at least very new, at the very least. Is there any sprint around yet? Yeah. Surprised there's no ghost owl anywhere near that guy. I'm pretty sure the guy up there is the bird watcher, quest starter, or whatever. I'm pretty sure. I don't know where it would be. I think I'll just do that off camera. Yeah, uh, I'll just do it off camera. I'll get I'll get those unless I somehow just see it while recording, then I'll go in and get it. But if not, then I'll just do it off camera. Okay, there's one of the other things too. There was the garlic or something. I feel there. Hello, got plenty of candy for you to take some. Thank you very much. That's much appreciated. Very much appreciated. Okay, yeah, but again, this is the main core of the game. Um, which I know... Uh, motherfucking zombie. But anyway, um... This still has appeal for me as an adult. Well, a young adult, I should say. But, uh, I mean, because, you know, I'm way too old to be doing this in real life now. But, I don't know, just the fact you can still do it in a game. I don't know, it's just... Just maybe the novelty of it. Oh, hello, Mr. Dominus, man. That is still one of my all time goals is to get a Dominus in Roblox. I'm pretty sure that's still seen as like you being rich, isn't it? It's having a Dominus. I think it is. Because I know when I first started playing, it was. I'm pretty sure it still is. Because they're really fucking expensive. They're one of the rarest items on Roblox. I think even, yeah, like the pumpkin heads. Also, antlers, too. A lot of people don't have them. Or if they do, they just don't wear them. So that's something I definitely do have antlers. But, oh, uh, let's, uh, go in here. Let's keep going here. And just like zombie attack, this outfit can't be what I do for, like, super, super long. What the hell is that? Unless it's part of the texture. Okay. I thought it was something over there, but it's just part of the texture. Hello, Mr. Hoodie Man. Or person. Alright, thank you for that. Where would a witch be? I mean, there's a witch in there, but that's 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 part of a mission. No, that's not part of a, a um the monsters, but I don't think I'll just look about a guide at um at, off camera. Oh, hey, it's uh I think this would be based off of the Count Games, at least the old outfit. Back back when Robots used to host the Acons themselves, and when they actually had them, now Acons are left to the community. Actually, Halloween events would be too, actually. The Robots community has, if it was a Halloween event, it has to be from the, some group of developers. Actually, yeah. I just thought about that. Will there will there be a group of developers who come together and make a Halloween event on Roblox? I mean, you can't get any actual items yet. Maybe one day you will be able to. That would be so cool, wouldn't it? That you can, a group of developers can make their own events and give out hats? That would be so awesome. It would be like bringing back the old events. Cause us community, the community, robots players, the community can do that. Cause the uh, robots themselves are not going to, but the community can. By the way, hello, trick or treat. Hello, spaceman, space mech, I guess. What a trick for me? Thank you very much. Yeah, I think that's why I never had a lot of candy in this game compared to the old one. It's because, well. The friendly people don't give you that much, and the monsters take a lot away from it. I think in the original, if I could play it, I have, like, a lot. I think I have, like, a few hundred or something, but to be fair, I also played that game over the course of several years. Throughout every month of October. For several years in a row. So that's probably part of it. Maybe it's also more forgiving, I don't know. I wish I could play the original again, with by the original developer, but I don't think that's going to happen again. 2020, I think, was the last time um, that I did it. Yeah, things were well trying to wave, but it doesn't entirely work, because your arm doesn't go all the way up. It kind of gets stuck midway. 
Uh, sorry. But anyway, let's go here. There's one of the ghosts. It's one of the quests. If you want, I can hop on a, like an alt account or something. Hop on here and show you the other quests. But I'm sure other YouTubers have done that already as well. So I don't know. I'm glad we're making this earlier though. Although I know there was a badge, I don't know if it's still here, but I think there's a badge if you played this on Halloween, like the 31st. Nah, fuck you zombie. I'm just walking away. Losing your key is unavoidable with that, by the way. Even if you walk away before they speak, it's just scripted and you'll just lose it. Hello there, old school looking, old school looking guy. That's so Roblox, by the way. Arthur was nuts, but we're not getting into that. We're not getting into that topic here. We're not. That's not the point of this. Hello, Miss. You want to trick for me? Have some candy? Yes, thank you very much. Yeah, if I'm bringing this up, actually, it's interesting. I stopped trick or treating the first year we moved to my current house, and the thing is, I was a young teen, so you know. Ah, fuck off. But I could have still... Oh my, that took about half of everything. But anyway, I, I could have still gone um, that year. But I just... I guess I decided I was done. And it was even weirder. My brother decided the exact same year um, he was done as well. Even though he had, a, he had like a couple to a few more years that he could have done it. But he just stopped the same time that I did. For whatever reason. But I guess it is. It was his choice then. Yeah, whatever age he would have been at that time, I don't remember. I think I would have been, uh, let's see. 2014 was 12, so I was 13 when I stopped. Very early, I think. I'm pretty sure others have gone on for longer uh, than me. Again, yeah, I was 13 when I stopped doing it. And my brother stopped when he was 10. I'm pretty sure he didn't go that year. Or if he did, he didn't go very far, but essentially just stopped for both of us at that point. But yeah, I was 13, like, it, I mean, you know, like, I, I still could have gone for like a year or two, but I didn't, I just stopped, I guess I just didn't feel comfortable doing it anymore. I, I'm not, hell, I'm sure as hell not doing it now. I'm fucking 20, I'm way too fucking old for that in real life. In the video game though, doesn't matter what age you are, because you can do it. You can still get your train in a video game, even if you're 60 in a video game, you can still do it. That's what's great about uh, the video game. It doesn't matter how old you are, you can still do these more childlike things. You won't be judged for it, because it's a video game, it's not real life. Great stuff for this. Hello there, thank you very much. I don't think I've been this way yet, though. No, I haven't. Costumes, oh yeah. I don't think I, I, don't think I ever wore costumes in the original version. I think I always just, I always had my own Halloween outfit on my character. I always just had that. So I never bought that. But I was coming up to 18 and a half minutes, so I'll go for a little bit further before ending the video. No! Took like half of my candy again. Alright, that just sucks. That just sucks. Well, your stamina lasts a long longer than the original, I swear. That's one of the good things. Your stamina lasts a lot, lot longer than the original. That's one thing. But yeah, at least you don't die. And in the, in the original one, if you got a monster at a house, it would it would kill you. You would respawn, as well as lose the candy. But I'm glad this one that doesn't happen. Because I think the creator realized that that's kind of annoying. They have to walk all the way back. So I'm glad that's not in this. But yes, Mr. Spaceman, it is a night, a beautiful night to go trick or treating. It is. Very much is. But yeah, again, if you, all of you watch, have not played this, then what the fuck are you doing? You gotta. It's, it's, it is, I think it's great. It's a joy to play every year. But yeah, so it's kind of about 20 minutes. So... I think that's a good time to end this video, and I uh, hope, hope you all enjoyed this. I am so glad that I got to bring this tradition back. It was a fucking crime, it never stopped. But I'm glad the tradition is back. It is back in style. 
And uh, with that, uh, please do play this. I'll link it in the description. And uh, hope you all enjoyed the video. And I will see you all uh, very soon. Bye.